everyone, this is Rabbit's Blog, and welcome to another general discussion series. So today's general discussion is going to be on my pet peeves in movies. So my first pet peeve about movies is whenever movies adapt a source material, but then said movie is not really faithful to the source material. Now, I have a big <laughs> issue with this because when it comes to movies adapting source materials, like they're adapting something from books or they're adapting something from video games or whatnot, and then the movie ends up adapting that source material, but then said movie's not really faithful to the source material, or the movie has nothing to do with the original source material, then I have to wonder to myself about why this movie was being made and why was this movie trying to take inspiration from this source material if it's not going to be faithful to the source material. Now, I I don't expect all movies to be very faithful to their source materials like I do like it when movies do take their own spin on the source material and try to do something different with it but if you're going to take something from the source material and you're going to say well this movie is based off the X-Men franchise then I expect to see something from the X-Men comics pop up in the movies like the X-Men movies should always be about the mutant characters trying to struggle against humankind and trying to make it in the human world because they're being prejudiced against because they're mutants and they're trying to tell the humans you know we're just as good as you guys so if you leave out that aspect of the franchise of the X-Men in the movie and the movies are just the X-Men being in a sitcom situation that has nothing to do with their struggles of trying to be accepted by humankind that I have to wonder to myself you know why would you bother adapting the X-Men if it has nothing to do with the comics you might as well be writing a completely different movie if that's the case Another pet peeve that I have with the movies is when the characters aren't being written very well. So usually I don't mind if the plot is not that well written for the most part as long as the characters are written well. But if the characters aren't written well or they're written in the way where they aren't likable or we don't really sympathize with these characters that I have a really hard time trying to get into the movie because I don't really care for the characters. Like I don't really understand the characters motives or I don't really like the characters that much because they're written as being unlikable as possible or they're written in a way where we don't know much about them so I can't really get behind these characters or sympathize with their struggles because I don't know much about these characters so if the characters are written in a way where they're unlikable or you don't know much about them then I can't really get into the movie because the characters aren't written very well Another pet peeve when it comes to movies is whenever characters are making dumb decisions. Now this isn't just a problem with horror movies, but this also becomes a problem with movies that are romantic comedies or other types of films. Like you would have the characters make a lot of decisions that end up putting them in a lot of trouble. Like with horror movies, you have the characters making dumb decisions like they go out in the open where the monster is at and they end up getting killed because they went out in the open when they weren't supposed to when the monster's out there trying to get at that character. And then with romance films or films in general you have the characters making decisions like they're not going to tell a person everything about their life story from the get-go and it causes the characters to have a misunderstanding with each other because if they were being honest with that person from the very beginning they wouldn't be in all these problems that they have with that other character so yeah I also get very annoyed when characters make very dumb decisions in movies and it just leads to a lot of problems from the main cast because of these decisions Another pet peeve that I have with movies is plot holes. Like I can't stand it when there's a certain part of the plot that's not fully explained. Like there's something about the character's backstory that we don't know about. And said backstory is supposed to explain everything that's going on in the movie. But when you don't have the character's backstory really explained in the movie, then there's this huge plot hole in the film about what's really going on with the situation because we don't know about this character's backstory and the film doesn't really explain it. So I hate it when plot holes happen in films because I want to know more about these characters and I want to know more about what's going on with the situation in the movies and yet whenever the movie leaves off these details then I have a hard time trying to figure out what's really going on and it makes me a bit frustrated with the film and then the last pet peeve that I have with films is cliffhangers like I know that the nature of cliffhangers is to entice the audience to come back and see more of these films but at the same time it's like I want to know what's going to happen right then and there but then the film ends on a cliffhanger or it ends on a situation that hasn't been resolved and you have to wait several years for that situation to be resolved so it's kind of torture trying to wait to figure out what's going to happen in the film because the film ended on a huge cliffhanger and
and then you have to wait several years for that cliffhanger to be resolved in some kind of way and sometimes that could be a bit troublesome because what happens if the film franchise ends up getting cancelled and so you have no idea what's really going to happen afterwards because the film ended on a cliffhanger but the franchise got cancelled before it was able to resolve anything so that's another issue that I have with cliffhangers in general is that what happens if the film franchise gets cancelled and you're not able to resolve that cliffhanger you're left wondering for many years about what could have happened at the end if the film franchise didn't get cancelled. Before I wrap up this video, here are a few words from the channel. All aboard the Social Media Express. Want to send some tweets my way? Then follow me on Twitter. Want to see me play lots of video games and other stuff? Then follow me on Twitch. Want to join our crazy community? Then join our Discord group, Let's Chat with Rabbit Ears Blog. Want to see more stuff from my YouTube channel? Then check out my Facebook page, Rabbit Ears Blog's Best Comments. Want to check me out at other awesome accounts? Here's my card. And now, back to the video. So those are my pet peeves when it comes to film. And tell me in the comments down below, what are your guys' pet peeves when it comes to film? Please let me know in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rowdy's Vlog, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, like this video? If you want to check out more crazy content from this channel, then please hit that big old colorful subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra generous, then please support me through Patreon so I can make more awesome content for this channel.